Oops. Hey, hey, can you believe that right now? Hey. Oh my god. Hey. Do you remember the first time we did this podcast? We were so nervous. It was at the... Um, we were saying sorry the whole time. We were talking like, uh, in front of the... Con- it was like a Kanye thing. Yeah, we were in front of the Kanye thing, and we were so nervous, and we were stuttering. And we are like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No. I didn't mean that. God, I can't even... Guys, I have dyslexia. I have dyslexia. I'm so sorry. You so- remember that? No. Well, that's what it's like to be new and young with zero experiences. Um... So what, uh, what, what do you make of what's going on now? With being a newborn baby in this world of chaos? I think the world's turn around. Oh, this is a good one. Elaborate. Elaborate. Because people, they don't, they totally forgot about COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they definitely forgot. And no one's yelling about masks or anything? I, I just stumbled across a Saturday Night Live. They're all masked up. Have you seen that one? Yeah. They're wearing masks. The one they filmed at their house? Yeah. No, they didn't film at their house, dude. Freaking Elon Musk was there. You remember Elon would wear the bandana? Yeah. The black bandana, which is Zuka, Zuka, you know, copywritten. But you were doing that before COVID, right? Yeah. Interesting. I wore it on my head because I was bald. Don't tell them that. Well, I mean, I am bald. I wasn't was bald. I'm still bald. Why don't you get transplants? Um, I don't know, dude. I, I just don't know. Would it be me? I don't know. Whatever. No. Nope. You ever try, uh, you ever go to the gym, Eli? <laughs> no. Why not? Um, I used to. What did you do when you went to the gym? I ran. Oh, because you were fat or something and you are trying to get lose weight? Yeah. Because that, that's not how you build, build muscle. I used to hike the mountain every day. That's good. You know why you hike a mountain? Why? Because there's nothing like a, a lady trying to better herself by herself. Oh, yeah. Better herself by herself up there on the mountain. You know what I mean? She's just doing her go girl. You're but, a queen. Go but here's girl. the thing. If you go there every day, if you just blend into the background, mm-hmm. you start to blend into the background. What happens? Like, say you go there, you've never been there for three years, and then you're the new new thing there. Mm-hmm. But then you just go there every day and no one cares. It's like, oh, there's that guy who's always there. Um, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. The, the, the mountain hikers, it's a community, dude. But you want to be the new person everywhere you go. Well, if you listen, you only want to be new if you if it doesn't like. How do I put it this way? You only unfriend to become a new friend because the other girl that you ruined your whole thing with, the new girl does not know all that. Yeah. But the new girl will be just like the old girl. Unless you figure out what the hell's going on in there, and and you know you have to figure out why it is I'm I'm living in patterns. Yeah. Why is why is beauty always turning ugly? You uh, know why? Oh, Eli? can I backtrack a little? Yeah, go ahead. You said do do I go to the gym? Yeah. I used to go to that YMCA there, right? Yeah. There's a lot of homeless people in that. And way. then um, they got bed bugs. At, on the on the machines. Or everywhere. It was like 10, 10, 15 years ago. And after that, I never worked out again. You got to turn the itch into an exercise, what you got to do. The itch? Yeah. You know, you're itching because of the bed bugs. Figure out how to turn that into an aerobics workout. Oh, yeah. Could, Could we not do that? Am I joking or am I for real? For real. You can imagine aerobics workout where, yeah, the bugs are really eating and biting my skin. But it's keeping me moving. I can't go to sleep. I lost so much weight. I just kept moving. And that was moving. probably when I was the thinnest I ever had when I had bed bugs. Yeah, well, maybe bed bugs were sent from God. 
Yeah. That's what they are. They're me- they're a metabolic uh, organism, just like we are. So when you roll around, you roll and you're around. Itchy. We roll around. You know, the Earth's rolling around too. And even even whole um, solar systems are rolling around the sun. This, there's binary stars. Have you heard of a um, rolling around other stars? Yeah. Never mind. Dude, you know what? I I almost want to go on um, Tinder to go on dates. And what I will do is I'll just be on my phone constantly. Isn't that what they do already? We'll be at dinner or having coffee and I'll just be like, um, anyways, what you have to figure out is you have to, you have to sooner or later find Jesus. What, you don't like Jesus? I mean, I didn't say that. What do you think of Jesus? No, no opinion. Is he Jewish or not? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yes or no? Yeah. Jesus is a Jew. Yeah. So, what? What's the problem? <laughs> what? What's the problem? Of what? Like, why don't Jews like Jesus as much as regular people? What's the problem? It's um. He has a whole extra book written about him. It goes against the um. The do- the um, setup of the religion, the concept of Jesus. That you can't read any other books. No. Really? Not that. That's not it. Oh, what is it? Uh, it says there you can't have any other gods. Oh, is that? It's a linguistic. It's a se- semiotic. Yeah. It's semantics. I mean. It, yeah. It's a semantic quibble. <laughs> what? You know, a semantic I guess you could say is. that. John, you know what a semantic quibble is? Speaking of that, I got a joke for you. All right, go for it. What's the most Jewish seafood? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Go for An it. An oyster. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got a laugh track. Oi, oi is like the perfect word you should use when you ejaculate. <laughs> it be, oi. oi. If, I were to, if, if ejaculate <laughs> was a word, it'd be oi. That's pretty funny. I'm trying to think of the Jewish joke my son said. It was very anti-Semitic. <laughs> it was good. I wanted to tell you it was so good. Um, I just have to call him on the phone. Well, why, how do you learn that? Probably internet. I mean, honestly, he doesn't have friends. He's a loser. But he skates, you said? Yeah, no, I, he's not a loser. Um, these kids get all the shit on the internet now. It has nothing to do with friends. Oh, it's like, oh, my friend, he he's a Nazi, and he told me all these great Jew jokes. That was, it's not going to happen. He's going to be scrolling through it, and maybe he's interested in Judaism. Hmm. Then you're going to get Jew jokes, wouldn't you? I don't know. If you're into the Judaic um, culture, you know what I mean? You know what I'm reading about right now? Uh, uh, Vienna, Germany. You know Mahler? He's Jewish. You know that? Greatest composer on earth, Mahler? Don't know him. Really? You know Mahler? Not by the name, but by the Yeah, yeah, he's really You're thinking about that guy... um, Fly the the Valkyries. That's Wa- Wagner. 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 Wa- Wagner. Um, not. Oh wait, it's different. But Hitler did not like Wagner that much. But Wagner. he wrote the theme song to the Nazis, basically. Fly to the Valkyrie. And you know why they did that? Do you know why they did that? Because Wagner isn't Jewish. Oh. You follow? Hitler's favorite composer is Mahler. Everybody's favorite composer is Mahler. What song did he sing? Uh, fuck, I don't know, dude. I'm just listening. I just hear it now. That's that's Wagner. That's Wagner. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Huh. That's him? Yeah, really, really what I was getting at, this 
this, this really isn't a hot take. What's your favorite hot take then? Dude, like, hair plugs, liposuction. You're not going to get it? Time. Save your money. Just Save buy a hat. Time. What? Buy a hat. Dentist, dentist, a racket, a fucking racket. Dennis the Menace. You, you know, <laughs> beautiful people learn to not show their teeth. Real beautiful, because they want to show you their soul. So, we, you know, you know who shows you their teeth? Wolves. Huh. Machiavellian freaking backs. But they don't go to the dentist. They have to go to the dentist because they want to show you, like, look at my teeth. Look at, I'm not a crackhead. I'm good. What's that? Don't smile. But Kanye has a beautiful smile, though. He really does. Have you seen a smile? Yeah. You never looked at a smile and be like, he does have a good smile, like a little child. He has his puffy cheeks. What's beautiful about Kanye is he, he doesn't have a beautiful, strong jaw. No, because he got an accident. He's very boyish. He's very childish. Yeah. He got an accident. Yeah, when he was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had all that. Yeah. But do you think that's from, I mean, he still was kind of heavier set up on the head. What about Hasbulla? You discovered him, right? No. You're the first person to tell me about him. Really? I don't know. My son, my son was into him. Oh. Um. Oh yeah. So now we're getting to the now we're getting into the meat, meat and potatoes. You know the meat and potatoes. All right, go ahead. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Art. Oh yeah, that's why you're not selling paintings. Because the AI is painting it? No, no, dude. I, I mean, no. I don't have no problem with AI. I like it. But if Ar artificial if, intelligence, what does that, what does that mean? Artificial intelligence. Art. If, if, art. Artificial. That's art. Artificial. What does that mean? Art. Artificial. What does it mean? <laughs> Not natural. Unnatural. Use artificial in another sentence. Where have you heard it before? Artificial. You get some crab. You get some crab. Oh, that's artificial. Sweetener. Artificial sweetener. What's another name for it? Fake. Yeah. But, but Elon says it's. We should be scared of it. We should be scared of it. Because you know Terminator movies. You know what I'm talking about Terminator movies. Because they can learn Portuguese now. It, let me see if I can try. You don't want a mic. You don't want to mind? Okay, I just want to, I'm trying to, okay. I'm going to draw you in. I'm going to draw you in. Are you, do you want to go that way or you want to go vulgar? Because I don't, I feel like I'm getting geeked out and I like it when I talk. All right, go vulgar. Shit. It's just bad to go vulgar in the first 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So here's one. So uh, we, today I took my son to the high school he's supposed to go to next year. I, I, I graduated from there. You follow? Yes. So we took a tour, right? I get there, a bunch of kids sleeping on, there's a bunch of uh, uh, gated bars, everything's freaking locked up. It's like prison. If it didn't already look like a prison, there's a prison outside of the prison. Yeah. You know, like you can make your building a prison, but then you make a gate around that gate, around that gate. So we're talking about like 10 moats just to get to this school. You so know, what's vulgar about that? I'm going there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So we took a walk around the school, and then it was cool, man. The school got a lot of good programs. I'm speaking positive about the school. And then I had to pick up my daughters, right? And my daughters were like, my my wife's in the car too. And my daughters are like, what um what do you what do you have to wear? Because they think they think I I received it. They think it's a um a uniform school. That's how I, that's what, I, I know that's what she said. She wants to know if it's a uniform school. What, what can I wear? And I said, you can wear anything. There was girls dressed like prostitutes in there. <laughs> and my wife, oh yeah, hell yeah. But my, you know, the, it should have been after this. My wife is just like, 
giving me the biggest stink face you've ever seen. Damn. Like she's shitting on the toilet, that type of face. You know what I mean? Like just like scrunched up, dropping a deuce face. Huh. And my daughters aren't freaking out. And, I, and my wife was like, why do you gotta be like that? Why do you gotta be so insensitive? And I said, what, are you a prostitute? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you, hey, do you think a good comedian hates laughter? I think so. <laughs> a good comedian wants to be interesting and when they hear laughter, like, you guys aren't hearing me. I need you to come to my church. I need you to put your body up on that cross if you really love me. That's what kind of love I want. That's what kind of devotion. Yeah, I want tragedy. I want you to like just weep and I'll weep with you. Hey, so there's like yeah. um, a few weeks ago, there's like a school shooter and it turned out the school shooter was um, trans. Yeah, it's old news. What do you think of that? Dude, I can't really speak my mind. <laughs> Come uh, okay. No okay. one's listening. I'm going to speak my mind right now. You ready? You ready for it? You ready for it? Yeah. So I'm writing this book right now. There's a character in it. He speaks his mind a lot. You follow me? There's a character I'm writing in this book. He speaks his mind really well. There's sometimes you feel so alone. You feel so completely helpless and alone that when you yell at the sky, there's no response. You kick a rock, you kicking a rock into infinity. No one cares, you have no family, no love, zero love. And on top of that, on top of that zero love, you have no culture. You ain't got no bebop. You ain't not got no, you ain't got no Who? classical Schoenberg. You ain't got no, you don't got no Wagner, all right? You got nothing. You ain't got Nazism. You don't even got that. You don't even got Judaism. You got nothing. What about, um, so there's this guy. In Wait, I got to finish because there's this book I'm writing about this character. Okay. Right? And you can feel so alone right now. All you need, to, all you want to do is just explode. Just annihilate in the most sick, sickening way possible. People aren't people. Everything's a veneer. Now what? Now what? What? I'm just telling you about what happens. You asked me about the trans. Uh, but, uh, so that, that person in that moment killing those people transcended trans. They transcended in absolute vulgarity and murder and evil. So uh, there's this teacher. But what was the logic, Eli? I'm asking, what was the logic? Are we just going to write this person off as one plus one equals three? Or was this person equaling two? Am I allowed to speak? Am I allowed to, as a doc, as a doctor, am I allowed to see the body and the organisms? Am I allowed to look at it? How, if I put an electrode here, if, if it does this, am I allowed to look at it, you know, as objects? Or am I being thrown into an ideological camp simply by saying what I say? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So in Fox- These girls were looking like prostitutes, bro. I swear. They had fake eyelashes, belly button rings, belly button rings. That's the families they live in, probably. Belly button rings, dude. That's what they do on TikTok. Yeah, I know. So that kind of went, that kind of, so let's break the third wall, fourth wall. Just like in uh, racquetball. You ever play racquetball? Man, that's an amazing sport. Amazing sport. I went here to there to nowhere. There is a teacher on Fox News. Right. Yeah, with the fake boobs. And she said she was a woman, and then they, they went to like Costco, and he's just walking around as a dude. Yeah, that's that that was. It's the best news. Is that real? I don't know. What? Did you see the footage of it? It was just like the George <laughs> Floyd thing. They only give you parts. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The big boob woman that was teaching in Canada? Or Canada? Yeah, dude, it's just, yeah, it, it's, it's another form of, um, 
Yeah. Oh. I think I think what the problem is with the the transsexual. Um, I just found out you can't. Yeah, trans. I just found out you can't say transvestite anymore. It's offensive. Yeah, tranny. No, can't you, you can't say that. What? Trans. trans. Yeah. Yeah. But if you say transvestite, it's a derogatory term. Why? It's it's just hashtag clickbait. It's it's a semantic quibble. Like we we're talking. Anti-semantic. Anti-semantic semantic quibble. Um. Huh. I think you can do that. Oh, yeah, that was hit, though. You just can't do the other way around. That was hit. A man can't play a woman, but a woman can play a man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they look at it from that point of view. Yeah. Um, but Monty Python is banned now. Well, <laughs> the birdcage. My, 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 my issue. My issue is this: the trans. Oh no! Uh, they want drag queens to read to the kids. So I guess no. I I I I'm gonna blow your mind here. <laughs> what, oh yeah, yeah. Only yeah. The next. No no. The, what I what I'm getting at here is the the prefix trans. The full thing is they they like to use the word transition. You follow me? Yeah. I'm talking about transcendence, dude. That's why I don't. Oh, that's it. what trans means. No, no, you don't. They need to start thinking that way, though. And then they can really start figuring Transcend. out how it works. Transcendence, not transition. All you're doing is you're fucking around in the binary. But I was. I, that's what pisses me off all the fucking time, dude. That's why they make me right wing all the fucking time. But I was thinking about it. Why trans exists in the why? current? So your mom and dad, our parents gen or generation, like Woodstock. Mm -hmm. What did they want? They just wanted to fuck. Because the, no, they they, their parents they, didn't want to fuck. You think so? so they want to fuck and not have kids. They didn't want. Hippies. But that got their parents. Hippies want families. But then that got their baby boom. Is that the baby boom thing? But just, but they but that got their families real angry, like their parents. So then the the current generation, they're they're like, what's going to get our parents really angry? Oh, if I become a girl. And it worked, and that's why they're going all in on that. They ain't got parents. They they don't even shock have, value, bro. They don't even have parents. They don't even have parents. But they're pissing people off by doing that, and that's why they're doing no, it. No, they're 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 <laughs> yeah. locked. In, they're locked into the fucking clickbait existence. But they're getting they clicks do to do that. Radical, like, uh, say something stupid about pronouns. Depending on if you're right or left, people like that shit. You keep. But they get that. clicks. They get clicks. Some they, people don't like it. And there, and there we go. There is no transgender. There's no trans anything, dude. There's nothing. It's just clicks. Clicks in the void, dude. And cl clits, clicks and clits. <laughs> but you know, you know, art, <laughs> art is Thank about art is about the surprise. Yeah. It's about it's about a, a bad you know good art's a bad Uber driver. Why well, it takes you someplace, but it's painful to get there. Yeah, it just you don't know what the fuck's going on. And they don't even know they don't even know what the hell's going on either. Hence good art. Another thing of good art is road rage that goes all the way to the end. Huh? You you don't forgive one second how idiotic you are. You saw an object move in front of your fucking lane and you wanna bury this person. You've done that? No, I just think it's good art, man. Because in the end, they did art. A bunch of people suffered. 
they don't even know who the fuck they don't even know who the fuck they are at the end of it. They contribute. How's that not good art? They, they don't even know what the fuck happened. They're gonna try to claim insanity. Good they, art. They contribute to the life's story by doing something dude, interesting. They broke out of the, the boring story, dude, and they're like, object moves in front of my object. No, not not today, motherfucker. They just see a big piece of metal move in front of them, and they don't even see a human. They're being. like, I'm gonna eat. I'm a I'm a I'm a whale. I'm gonna swallow you. It's like when you look in the lion's eye, it doesn't even see the humanity. No, it just wants to eat, eat, eat. That's what some road Move rangers object are like. out of the way. Annihilate. Explode. There's no talk, no lion if it's about to kill yeah. you. So in a way, I guess school shooting would be, their mascot would be a lion. <laughs> a lonely lion, I suppose. Maybe you should edit that one out. I mean, I was just talking about my book. Oh. Of this character I'm writing. It's, it's not... Say, Theoretically. I mean, I mean, God had to write about the devil, didn't he? Yeah. The Jewish God, I mean. Well, the Jewish God, there's a different interpretation of the devil. Oh, yeah, the devil's a trickster. The He's, like, he's like Dionysian. The devil oh, is, works for God. Eli, my, my problem with uh, Judaism, my real problem with Judaism, is, is they think they're so original. Who? Uh, the 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 rabbis they think they're so original no one said that they they don't believe they don't read the they don't read the torah like like a college professor they they read it worried just like the christians do that you got to stop reading these things so Ooh, worried i don't know what you're talking about uh, the rabbis dude the they're Orthodox worried rabbis yeah they read it very worried like oh the tone yeah they they they, they both read it so prophetic and, okay, I hear what you're saying. And they need to look at sim symbolism. They need, they need to know that all symbolism falls in the same gravity. He's looking at his phone right now. No, I'm not. Dude, we only did 26 minutes? Dang, Shit. this one's dragging. Damn, dude. No way, we did more than that. So this is going to be a short episode. I guess, it, I guess it was good. I think there was, like, climax. Maybe we should get uh, Jonas. We could. It would Time would fly. Um, let's, let's, oh. let's, clo let's close with some good Did advice. Did you see the Mario movie? No, I haven't. I didn't. Italians? All Italians? You know, you know what I don't like? Oh, Ita yeah, you, you are. You know what I don't like about Italians? You're They're Italian, right? Who told you that? I'm not. I'm not. I'm freaking. I'm freaking uh, African. You're Aryan. I'm African, bro. I'm a bio. I, I know about biology, dude. I know about anthropology too, and and archaeology. All right. And I'm also into science. And my my. You ever heard of Lucy? Yeah, it's an old. It's an old skeleton. Lucy fur. It's an old Homo sapien, right out of Africa, straight out of Africa. I don't know about the Mario Brothers, dude. I don't know about them. <laughs> I love them colors. Luigi's colors always struck a chord with me. Why did you never paint them? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Prior to Mario, there was Donkey Kong, all right? Mario was existing in the Donkey Kong world, all right? Yeah. All this other bullshit is just made up. The real world was in Russell Simmons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Donkey Kong is who? Um, Kanye. Kanye, yeah. DMX. ODB. But why'd you never paint Donkey Kong? I, I, there was a, there is a, there is a certain eight-bit uh, image that you know when Mario gets hit and he has the halo around, over him. <laughs> it's very confusing, but when you know it, when you see it. Oh, huh, that's a weird noise. Yeah, that person didn't like that joke. Oh, that was the okay. Um, but Eli, you wanted to, so so you want to do closure on this? Maybe we should do another ten or twenty minutes. All right, you want to do another ten, twenty? I feel like I was anti-Semitic this podcast. You are in all of them. What do I need to do? Tell me what I need to do to make it better. Um, don't talk about it. I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to learn, dude. I need to know. 
Um, I was learning about my other heritage, the Armenian side. Man, fuck those people. I hate Armenians. Why? I think they want. I think they think they're Hollywood, dude. They ain't Hollywood. They're just another fucking Eastern European shithole. They're Jewish wannabes. They are. Even even though even though like what I think was a lie, and I researched it. You know, Hitler said. You know the reason why he, they they make this propaganda. They say Hitler saw the Armenian genocide and they copycatted. Was it before that? Jews. Yeah, the Armenian genocide was way before. It was in the Ottoman when the Ottoman. Why Empire. don't we talk about that? Uh, what part? The Armenian genocide. No, I mean not we, but wh- as a society, why don't we know about it? CRT. CRT. Doesn't, it doesn't click. It doesn't click bait. It doesn't click. No one wants to click on. How it. many people died? I, I suppose a lot, but I, I will. I will. You get understand tr- why they I will get in trouble. What I'm about to say here. You understand why they killed them? Yeah, I do. I actually completely do. The Armenians were in between two opposing countries, the Russians and then the Ottoman Turks. Huh. John, do you have any uh, history on that, that sector of uh, that segment of history? Oh, John's wearing Yeezys. Hell yeah, dude. But, 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 um, they, it was wartime, dude. Eli, it was war, dude. I understand why the Turks don't want to call it a genocide because they didn't actually do a legal jurisdiction of what what Hitler did. Because the Turks killed the people. They were caught in between. They were caught in between, dude. So why did they want to kill the Armenians? They're Christians, and the Russians were going to use them against them. So how many people died there? I suppose a lot. I I, I can't touch it at all. I can all you can tell, do is just be like a. You got to break out of Hollywood, Does man. Does your family talk about it still? No. My family my family's Americans, dude. They're Californians. Did they did worse they Worse lo- yet. John, worse yet. They ain't American. You're from the East Coast. They ain't even American. They're from California, dude. From San Fran? Their their liberal shit is it's all the same. Everybody no, they're right they're right wingers, right? No, they're just Californians. Dude. Some of them. They want they want a good movie, dude. They just yeah. want to eat in and outs. No, they they just they they want fun. They want they ain't from the south. They want fun. They forgot about the, and it, what and happened. If, and if everybody's starting to do all this protesting bullshit, I can't dance to that. And then you want to call me uh, apathetic when I have like my catalog goes for days, and all you listen to is Taylor Swift. I mean, how can I even talk to you right now? You know, some people. To your family? My catalog, no, just people that want to like, like they they just want to they want to start a protest yesterday. And they're just listening to Taylor Swift. They just listen to whatever. They just listen to what. They want to rename Glendale Swift Town. Really? <laughs> they renamed Glendale Swift Town. You ever heard of? Thank you. Taylor Swift. You ever heard of Taylor Made? Uh huh. Great golf clubs. Taylor Swift? Hell yeah, I guess. I right. she ain't dark though. I like them darker memes. She has to have a hairy bubble. <laughs> I like them I like them uh, real dark black Armenians. Really? Yeah, like I wanna smell the grease in their hair. Yeah, dude, just shiny, shiny black. You've seen something like that? Yeah, dude, that's how that's how they are. Why don't you look like that? Check this hat out. Do you see this hat right here? What does it say? I love Nazis. Lions. Raisins. Oh. No. Um. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. I'm getting fucked, dude. I just got, dude. I, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail, dude. You didn't do your taxes. I just said a school shooter was like a lion. And I'm wearing a lion hat. Connect the dots. Oh, I passed that. Robert each- Downey Jr. From um, Natural Born Killers. No, no, for real though. I went to a funeral. My dad's brother just died. Your and dad's we, brother? The, the Armenian cemetery, the, the, one of the biggest cemeteries on the West Coast is in Fresno. And I just went there. Oh, yeah. Oh. So both your parents are from there? No, my mom's Italian. My dad's Armenian. But they're both uh, from California? Yeah, they all. Yeah, they're California. They don't get... They don't even have a... They don't even have any... They, when they talk about Italian, they can't speak Italian. 
they might be able to cook one or two dishes. Is that where, that you fa- they is that where is your Italian? parents met in California? Yeah. Yeah, Bay Area. Huh. But but what I was gonna say was Lions is is an Armenian last name. Lions? Yeah, there was the Abrahamians, which is my The my Jewish side. side? No. Yeah, I'm I'm hella Jewish. I'm really Jewish. My dad my dad my dad was admired the Jews, but he was he had a he he was he was obsessed with knowing who was Jewish and who's not. And so when he found out when someone was Jewish, he had to act different. Really? Yeah, because it just because of the bigotry that he was fed through Hollywood, dude, or all sorts of bigotry. Meat. Yeah, everything's bigotry. There's positive bigotry. There's negative bigotry. It's still just you're not meeting the person. You know what I'm saying? If someone says you're Jewish, what's all the what's all the um, generalizations they have with Jew, Jews? All right, you don't have to say it. Well, Kanye said them all, so yeah. I don't need to say them. Bagels, bagels, oi, <laughs> oysters, oysters. No, anyways, the Lions family has the biggest raisin factory in the West Coast. This play, this this the, this family puts all the raisins in all the cereal. Are they the California the raisins? No, they're not sun made. They're anti sun made. What is not sun made? They're anti sun made. Yeah, they're anti sun made. <laughs> but anyways, they gave us a tour for four hours through their their uh, raisin factory. When? Uh, just three days ago. Pound. Anyway. Oh, I'm they ain't you. even Armenians though. You know, anybody who goes around farms, they're born again Christians all day. They're not Eastern Orthodox. I would I I want to reclaim my Eastern Orthodox. What are we at? In a sense, I also want to claim my my Islamic heritage too, and my Judaic heritage. I'm old school, man. I like I like mosaic. You're all them. I'm all of it. I like I like tessellation patterns. I believe Allah was AI, 100%. Don't say that. Do you ever read the Quran? No. It is so fragmented. Like it was a million robots speaking. I got a they, joke. They just got filtered down to this book. What do you call an Islamic cow? I don't know. Muhammad. Ooh. <laughs> if Muhammad is here right now, he would have he would have split you. You're not supposed your, to say that, right? He would have split you from from your ass to your fucking mouth. He would have he would have cut you open. He would he would have. Did that offend you? You would have skinned you alive. You understand? You know who you're fucking with? Shh. The original mafia. M- the moot moot. The original mafia. The mafia. Yeah. You know the Italians learn everything, Muhammad. They don't fuck around with business and trade. Oh. Um, the Medici's must have met a Muslim at one time or another. Speaking of Muslim, yeah. did you see that Egyptian motel? It looks pretty good. Dude, they, hey, sooner or later, they're going to cancel that. They uh, killed it, right? They did in L.A. All these um, water parks and uh, fun zones were named after, like, King Tut, and they had to change all their names. Uh-oh, I didn't even think about that. It's appropriation. Should we? I think the New Times wrote an article on that. No, no, one, no one reads that. No one reads that magazine. No one reads anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what? I can't say that because the lion knows who they are. Uh, I, I actually, I, re, I, 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 I take it back. Uh, school shooters cannot identify as lions. Well, if they don't know any of those, they do know what forces what if an object isn't being heard it 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 finds a way to be heard and what we'll do is it'll expand its its verbiage its action it will create waves it's like a psychologically it's just uh i Uh, uh, at that moment, yeah, identity-wise, it was a, a suburban white. But I mean... But he was an art student, too. 
I mean, the cartel cuts bodies like a, like a, a deli. Um, our state, yeah, our state uh, kills people like. Uh, but that school, like, sh- you know, they, they, but they, they're reading those numbers, man. They got AI working with them. They're like, hey, what's this number say? If I bomb that, then what happens? Oh. Yes. What happens if the AI could predict the next school shooting? What if AI makes the next school shooter? Huh. You ever think of that How? one? Just by giving it attention, telling it what to do. Whoa. Dang. All right, we're gonna gotta close this out. Okay. Eli, I'm I'm so sorry that I called you fat earlier. You know, just because you said you run. I was at I was at work, and then a, a, a guy came in. Yeah. And I was eating, and then um, I walked in the back, and then he goes, "What's what's that fat so's problem?" What's the so part? <laughs> like he said, look at that fat so. What's why are you saying so? Like fat so. What's that mean? Like, why don't you just call you fat? It's it's just a derogatory term for being fat. I don't get it. Like look at that. You should f- just be like, what's this fat person? Fat so. No one says it anymore, but he's fat so. <laughs> like hey, fat so, get out of the way. He should just say say he shouldn't say that. <laughs> he should just call you fat. No one called me a. No one ever called. Fat. Call, no one ever called me a fat so before. And um, <laughs> anything, anything you want to tell me that I did wrong during this podcast? I think you, I think you did a great job. I actually. Really, I didn't say anything horrible at all. Nope. My kids could listen to this podcast. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Because you didn't say skull f. I just want to tell everybody that. Don't say skull f. Or children can listen to this podcast tonight. And your wife can too. If if your baby is not sleeping, has is teething, or let's just say your little kid just is like so upset, he, he doesn't want to go to school tomorrow. Hey, play this podcast. Tell your wife she can listen to it. Hey, let's just say you're having a hard time with your old lady. You know she ain't giving you no nookie. You know nookie is. There's a cookie. <laughs> Play this podcast, man. Get your ass laid, man. I'm telling you. And start, uh, instead of being a fatso, start going to the gym. Go to the gym and dress like a prostitute. Fucking see what happens. Wear them yoga pants that go up into the anus. Don't worry about uh, bed bugs at the gym. Hey, don't hate life. And we're sorry for all the other podcasts, and we, we turned a new leaf. Yeah, did I? Dude, I'm for the trans community transcendental community transcendentalism what do you call a trans Flow state what do you call a trans who's wearing a vest Mohammed <laughs> what a trans vest <laughs> all right REI thank you for sponsoring us hey guys uh, oh yeah we forgot about our sponsors hey go to REI Get them uh, uh, Tiva. Sh- you know, you got to get them sandals, man. Summer's coming. I want to thank Kirlin Dog Food. Kirlin. Hey, I also want to thank our other sponsor. Go to Costco. Get them big ass bag of uh, chocolate raisins. You know what I mean? And 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 get that pizza too. That pizza. That pizza is cheap still. Get that pizza that makes you ship blood. I also want to. I also want to um, uh, shout out to my other sponsor. Um, Gracie's Tax Bar. Gracie's Tax Bar, keep serving up them uh, them uh, tater tots. Chop, the chopped cheese, I don't know, it's just your And copy. Gracie's, keep bringing those emo girls in there that are confused as hell. You know what I mean? They, they're ruining men's lives right now, and I just want to thank you for that. And uh, the other uh, sponsor, the, the uh, Lost Leaf. Lost Leaf, I don't care who owns you at this point. I don't care, I don't care who's owning you. Just keep that little shitty room with that little bing bong jazz on Monday nights. And now they're doing karaoke. And, and yeah, keep the keep the karaoke on there. And they're doing a um, a, a benefit for Carrie Lake called Karaoke Lake. 
and keep building them condos, baby. Because they, they perfect for jumping off to kill yourself. And thank you for getting rid of the uh, those brothers. Yeah, the, them for, them for, them uh, from for the tools. tools. The for toolies. They're a bunch of uh, the for tools. Hey, hey, you know I don't I don't have a problem with them. They never they never they never try to fuck me. But I saw them in your gallery. I know. Earlier but did today. I did I did I get fucked? Did I did I want to go back to their party and do coke? Yeah. I did not. I did not. Cuz I cuz I wasn't I wasn't I'm not into them. I thought their shit was cartoony personally. What was it like indigenous Ren and Stimpy? I don't know. It just didn't move me. I thought it was cliché. Hmm. That's the best art term ever. There's still a house by my parents that has one of their murals on the wall. We deserve better, Phoenix. Phoenix, if you hear me right now, if you got into this 45 minute mark, we deserve better. I want you to raise your fists up in the air and say, I am. I am. You can do this. You don't need anybody. Fuck a hashtag. Fuck a protest. Let's just listen. Tap dance. Get into the tap dance. Right now, go on YouTube. Google a tap dance tutorial. It will it will teach you more than you ever could imagine. Learn to play guitar. Smash a guitar. We out. <laughs>